tucked away under the Madison Avenue Bridge in Harlem, this barren spot used to be a refuge. We had our cows right here, big cows right here. For more than four months, it was the place Ibrahim Ayu called home. What do you see, Kate? He lived here with at least eight other people. I go from Brooklyn, come all the way here to be with the people that was here. Why? Because they became like my family. I stayed with them the whole summer. But after a few months, police tore it apart. New York City's mayor, Eric Adams, is cracking down hard on these encampments. We cannot stop people from living on the streets, uh, but we cannot tolerate these makeshift unsafe houses. Since March 18th, a task force has cleared almost 240 sites across the city. The safest place for people who are homeless right now, the safest place is a shelter. That's the message Adams has been pushing since a man shot five homeless people in New York City and Washington, D.C. earlier this month, killing two of them. By law, anyone who needs a shelter bed in New York City can get one, but many much rather stay away. I was safer outside than in the shelter because what am I going into? I'm going to a place where people are going to steal from me, including the staff. I was there in my, in my Brooklyn shelter. I, well, I, somebody, got, somebody shot out the window and the security did nothing about it. Many people who live in shelters say violence is common. Parrish Austin has been living in a shelter on Ward's Island for a year. On Tuesday morning, an altercation with his mentally ill roommate landed him in the ER with a broken ankle. He picks my canes up and throws it out the room. That's your, what the hell is your problem? And that's when they attack. He says he's filed several complaints with the shelter about his roommate who refuses to shower. He's now planning to sue. Yeah. Nathalyn Flowers has been fighting for change for decades. This button is original. From the March on Washington, I was there with Martin Luther King in 1963. But a few years ago, the struggle hit home. In 2015, she was evicted from her rent-stabilized apartment, where she lived for 34 years. She'll never forget her first night in a shelter. I'm fixing the bed. She goes, I wouldn't go to sleep if I were you. I said, excuse me? She said, I wouldn't go to sleep. I wouldn't close my eyes and go to sleep if I were you. And I'm like, what did you say? And why? She said, because, you know, if you go to sleep, I could just kill you. Recent attacks by men who appear to be homeless have drawn a lot of media attention. But experts point out that unhoused people are more likely to be victims than predators. Unsheltered homelessness in the Northeast is extremely dangerous. And the average age at time of death of this population is 48. They die on average 30 years younger than housed people. The death toll for people experiencing homelessness has been rising. In 2018, 290 died. Last year, there were at least 640, the highest number on record. Experts say the remedy is straightforward. At the end of the day, the solution to homelessness as a problem is housing. Um, and whether or not someone needs additional supports uh, alongside that housing um, doesn't change the underlying fact that we need the housing to address homelessness. In the short term, we need safe havens Amen. now. Safe havens are meant to offer more privacy, resources, and fewer restrictions than congregate shelters. They are considered more effective at helping people transition to permanent housing. Adams is promising 500 new safe haven and stabilization beds in 2022. On Wednesday, he inaugurated a new safe haven shelter in the Bronx with 80 beds. But activists have already raised concerns. They say its shared rooms resemble those of congregate shelters. Critics say Adams plan to flood the subway with police to crack down on people sleeping in the train and tearing down encampments are just another way to victimize New York's homeless population. Advocates are also criticizing Adams for his proposal to slash budget for housing and homeless agencies. They say it will starve already underfunded and understaffed departments. Ain't no justice in this town. Ibrahim now works at Vocal New York and just received a housing voucher. But until he gets an apartment, he remains on guard. I live in a constant state of awareness. I'm constantly aware of everything going around me, 360 degrees, 24-7. 
all of the time. For Invisible People, I'm Shakti Langlois Ortega in New York City. Thank <laughs> you.